In this lesson, we'll create a basic rock drum track in MIDI using Python. We'll use general MIDI drum mappings to generate a simple drum pattern with customized velocities for different drums. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a drum beat with a bass drum, snare, hi-hat, and crash cymbal ready to be used in your projects. Let's define our drum kit using general MIDI drum mappings. Each drum sound is represented by a specific MIDI note number, like the bass drum, snare, and hi-hat. For example, note 36 corresponds to the bass drum, while note 38 represents the snare. We can also add symbols like the crash symbol, which is mapped to note 49. These mappings allow us to trigger specific drum sounds in our MIDI track. Now we're going to generate a simple 4x4 rock drum pattern. For every beat, we'll add a bass drum on beats 1 and 3, a snare on beats 2 and 4, hi-hats on off beats, and a crash cymbal at the end of each bar. We'll also modify the velocities to make the snare softer and the crash cymbal more subtle, giving the track a more dynamic and realistic feel. Here, we create a new MIDI file and track. This is where the magic happens. We'll add our drum pattern to this track and set the tempo. The tempo is set using beats per minute, and in this case, we'll use a standard 120 beats per minute, which is typical for a rock beat. Once the tempo is set, we're ready to generate our drum pattern and add it to the track. Next, we generate the drum pattern for our track. We've decided to create a continuous drum sequence of 240 steps, which will roughly fill one minute at 120 beats per minute. This pattern will repeat with bass drums on beats one and three, snares on beats two and four hi-hats playing the off beats, and crash cymbals hitting at the end of each bar. Let's add the drum pattern to our MIDI track. For each step in the pattern, we create a note on message to play the drum sound at the appropriate velocity, followed by a note off message to stop the sound after one beat. The track will now contain a continuous loop of the drum pattern with the drum sounds triggered in sequence. Finally, we save our MIDI file with the generated drum track. We can now use it in any music software to build upon or as a starting point for our musical compositions. And that's how we can generate a rock drum track in MIDI using Python. By defining drum sounds, creating a simple pattern, and adding it to a MIDI file, we've created a basic but customizable drum beat. Feel free to experiment with different patterns, velocities, and drum sounds to make your track even more unique.